G'day viewers, welcome back to Angry Cocktails, or if it's your first time here, welcome, pleased to have you aboard. I forget, hey, it's probably time after the preamble from my previous two videos, actually made a cocktail. A little something for the weekend, something that you can think about making for yourself on the weekend. And this is going to be a Blackberry Bramble. Now, if you look up online recipes or in books for a Bramble, there are lots of variations and it's usually got a blackberry flavor in it. It's often uh, blackberry jam. I'm going to use uh, a blackberry liqueur, an Australian uh, made blackberry liqueur, which is very nice. And they have a recipe on the bottle and that is the recipe I am going to follow. Now, this is a gin based cocktail. I've got to put uh, 45 mils or one and a half ounces of gin in my shaker that already has the ice in there. The blackberry liqueur is going to provide most of the flavor, but there's actually only like 15 mils or half an ounce of the blackberry liqueur going in the shaker. Now we're going to put slightly more lemon juice in there, 20 mils, just over half an ounce of lemon juice going in. And hey, if you watch my videos where I told you about there's really only four types, you might recognize this is the same profile as the sidecar or the margarita. It is a spirit, a fruit liqueur, and the citrus. It's, in this case, gin, blackberry liqueur, and lemon juice. To balance the flavors, this one also has a little bit of sugar syrup, 15 mils, half an ounce. Uh, I'm using agave syrup. Uh, you can use whatever sweetener you like. And we put that in the shaker. Now it's all in there. Now it remains only time to shake. Now I've been chilling my coupe glass uh, ready for the drink. Got my strainer, just straining out the ice so we don't need to double strain it. Now, look at that color. The blackberry liqueur has really come through to give it a great color and very light blackberry aroma and Oh, that is disturbingly easy to drink. This has got the balance with the, the blackberries are quite tart and there's the lemon juice in there as well. Just a little bit of the sugar syrup uh, to provide a counter balance. And you get some of the gin flavors coming through as well. But uh, considering how much gin is in this, uh, it's terrifyingly easy to drink. Um, You'd really want to pace yourself with these. Oh, you might find yourself under the table. Uh, now, I said, I used the blackberry liqueur. Not everyone's going to have that. Probably a lot of people won't. Especially in these times when, you know, we have limited resources. We're all staying indoors. But this is where you can improvise. This is a pretty easy one. Use blackberry jam or some other berry jam. Just put two spoonfuls in. Then you might not even have to add sugar syrup, depending on how sweet the jam is. Uh, in, and I'd up the gin a little bit, maybe another half ounce. So you're putting in 60 mils or two ounces of gin, uh, and that's the sole source of the alcohol then. Uh, two spoonfuls of a jam. It's going to say jelly. Americans call it jelly. Jelly. We uh, call it jam. Uh, I mulled up the two words and was totally unintelligible. So you could do a variation on this that would just be gin, the jam, and lemon juice. You would double strain that because of course you want to get out the residue from the jam when you pour it into your glass. But that's quite easy to improvise. Uh, so really all you need is the gin, something blackberry flavored and uh, some lemon juice and uh, a sweetener, whether that's in a blackberry jam or a sugar syrup that you add and you can make yourself a bramble. It's a nice drink. You know what, I reckon you could make this with vodka as well. I've only ever made this with gin. I'm going to quickly make one with vodka and see what the difference is. Alrighty, we're doing the same measures, just swapping out vodka uh, for the gin. So 45 mils of vodka, 15 mils of the blackberry liqueur, or like I said, like two spoonfuls of jam, 20 mils or just over half an ounce of lemon juice, and finally 15 mils of sugar syrup. And then we give it a good old shake. We have our chilled coupe glass ready. Strain that in. Got that same fantastic color. 
as you would expect, given both the gin and vodka are uh, clear spirits. Yeah, and there's not much of a bouquet on this one, but... Oh, yeah, the blackberry. No, oh, there is a difference. I can't really blind taste test them now I've come up with this idea. If I taste, I double fist it, taste them side by side. But yeah, no, it's not that rude, okay? That's what we call it when you've got a drink in each hand. Um, Okay, that's a gin one. Mmm! The blackberry comes through more in the vodka one because vodka is of course more neutral than gin. Um, but if you're a gin lover, definitely do it with gin. Uh, but if you don't have gin or you don't particularly like it, I do recommend it with vodka as well. I don't do this every night while in quarantine, honest. Just, you know, every other night. But hey, I hope you enjoy it. A little something for the weekend. Lots of room to improvise. It's a simple drink and it's really tasty. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you come back. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. You know, do the old ring the bell so you get notifications. Let me know if you made this, how it went for you. Uh, let me know if you want to know uh, any other sort of improvisation tips or something else you think I should make, and I'll do that in a future video. But until then, bye for now, and uh, cheers.